Good morning and welcome to this special service to mark the death of His late Royal Highness, Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh. Take a moment of silence before we begin. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, though he die, yet shall he live. And whoever lives and believes in me shall never die. I am sure that neither death nor life, nor angels nor principalities, nor things present nor things to come, nor powers nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the name of Christ, who died and was raised to the glory of God the Father, grace, mercy, and peace be with you. We meet this day to remember before God, His Royal Highness Philip, Duke of Edinburgh, to renew our trust and confidence in Christ, and to pray together we may be one in Him, through whom we offer our prayers and praises to our Father. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, Lord, make haste to help us. us. Blessed are you, Lord our God, lover of souls, you uphold us in life and sustain us in death. To you be glory and praise forever. For the darkness of this age is passing away, as Christ, the bright and morning star, brings to his saints the light of life. As you give birth to those in darkness who walk in the shadow of death, so remember in your kingdom your faithful servant Philip, Duke of Edinburgh, that death may be for him the gate to life and to unending fellowship with you, where with your saints you live and reign, one in the perfect union of love, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, and, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, now and, and shall be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. Now we join in singing the 23rd Psalm, The Lord's My Shepherd. <laughs>
Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and the sea was no more. And I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, See, the home of God is among mortals. He will dwell with them. They will be his peoples. And God himself will be with them. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes. Death will be no more. Mourning and crying and pain will be no more. For the first things have passed away. And the one who was seated at the throne said, See, I am making all things new. Also, he said, Write this, for these words are trustworthy and true. Then he said to me, It is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. To the thirsty I will give water as a gift from the spring of the water of life. Those who conquer will inherit these things, and I will be their God, and they will be my children. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And now we'll listen to our next hymn, The Day Thou Gavest, Lord, is Ended, followed by an address from Bishop Mark, which was given on the announcement of the Duke's death.
My thoughts, my prayers, my condolences are with Her Majesty the Queen and the whole of his and her family as they have lost a loving husband, a father, a grandfather, a great-grandfather. My thoughts and prayers are with them and with the whole of our nation as we have lost somebody who has given over 70 years of his life to devoted and creative and humble public service promising naval officer who fell in love with the woman who was to be queen and devoted his life to enabling her service to be effective, always one step behind in public, and yet one who was deeply creative, deeply inventive, one who saw the future in so many ways, the future of the environmental needs, the future technologically, the future of so many of our young people, for example, through the Duke of Edinburgh's award scheme, of which I myself, like many of you, am a beneficiary. We give thanks today for somebody whose influence goes far beyond that which we have seen. And as we do so, we do so with mourning and with gratitude. And we do so in prayer. So let's pray. Loving Father God, we thank you for the life and service of Prince Philip, the public life, the private life, which most of us will never see. We thank you for his quick wit and intelligence. We thank you for the way he enlivens so many gatherings, both public and private. We thank you for his support of Her Majesty the Queen, of this our nation, of the wider Commonwealth and the rest of the world. And we pray for all who mourn on this day, for your comfort and strength to be their ever-present help. And we pray these things in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, drawing our prayers together using the prayer of St. Chrysostom, which closes evening prayer in the Book of Common Prayer, an order of service very familiar to the Prince. Almighty God, who has given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications unto thee, and dost promise that when two or three are gathered together in thy name, thou wilt grant their requests. Fulfil now, O Lord, the desires and petitions of thy servants, as may be most expedient for them, granting us in this world knowledge of thy truth, and in the world to come life everlasting. Let us pray. God of all mercy, justice and peace, hear us now as we give thanks for the life of service and devotion to duty given to this nation by Philip, Duke of Edinburgh. May he rest in peace and know the joy of heaven. Be with those who mourn and bring peace to the hearts of all that we may all be united in the kingdom which is made known to, to us through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Merciful Father and Lord of all life, we praise you that we are made in your image and reflect your truth and light. We thank you for the life of His Royal Highness Philip, Duke of Edinburgh, for the love he received from you and showed among us. Above all, we rejoice at your gracious promise to all your servants, living and departed, that we shall rise again at the coming of Christ. And we ask that in due time you may share with your servant Philip that clear vision promised to us in the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Eternal God, our Maker and Redeemer, Grant us with your servant Philip, Duke of Edinburgh, and all the departed, the sure benefits of your son's saving passion and glorious resurrection, that in the last day, when you gather us all things in Christ, we may with them enjoy the fullness of your promises. Through Jesus Christ, your son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever.
Almighty God, Father of all mercies and giver of all comfort, deal graciously, we pray, with all who mourn, the members of the royal family, this nation, and all the nations of the Commonwealth, that casting our care on you, we may know the consolation of your love. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Through our prayers of thanksgiving, as we mourn the death of Prince Philip, let us give thanks to God in faith and trust for the gift of Christ Jesus and for all whose devotion in him has sustained the life of our church and nation. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. For our sovereign lady, Queen Elizabeth, his late Royal Highness, the Duke of Edinburgh, and all the royal family. For the ministers of the crown and all who bear the privilege and burden of government. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. For all people touched by the Duke of Edinburgh's devotion to public service, let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. For our own lives, giving thanks for all who have gone before us and asking that we might go forward with confidence and hope. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. O God, in whom we live and move and have our being, grant that your goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life, that we may ever trust in your unfailing love. Through Jesus Christ, our Saviour. Amen. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. And we say together the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy Thy kingdom come, come. thy will will be be done. done on earth earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The souls of the righteous are in the hand of God, and And there shall no torment touch them. You, Lord, have delivered my soul from death, my My eyes from from tears, tears, and and my feet feet from falling. I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living. Merciful Father and Lord of all life, we praise you that we are made in your image and reflect your truth and light. We thank you for the life of His Royal Highness Philip, Duke of Edinburgh, for the love he received from you and shared among us. Above all, we rejoice at your gracious promise to all your servants, living and departed, that we shall rise again at the coming of Christ. And we ask that in due time we may share with your servant Philip that clearer vision promised to us now in the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Eternal God, our Maker and Redeemer, Grant us with your servant Philip, Duke of Edinburgh, and all the faithful departed, the sure benefits of your son's saving passion and glorious resurrection, that in the last day, when you gather up all things in Christ, we may with them enjoy the fullness of your promises. Through Jesus Christ, your son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. And now we listen to our final hymn, God be in my head.
Lord of blessing. May God, in his infinite love and mercy, bring the whole church, living and departed, to a joyful resurrection and the fulfilment of his eternal kingdom. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen.